So hello everyone here on Twitch stream and later on in YouTube as well and uh, welcome to the long journey home that I got recently from Humble Bundle for a pretty decent price and even though as I see from Steam that it has very much mixed reviews I think for this price it's something that we can definitely go on and try out so oh wait I've already made a kids these days jokes it's a joke. Kids these days don't know what bad consoles are. <laughs> yeah, right. Okay, let's just go and see what the story is like though, because that could be interesting or fun to look into. So start jump a mission. And let's see. So, crew. Choose four crew members. Okay, we can actually choose four crew members for our ship. Welcome to Project Daedalus, the maiden flight of humanity's first jump capable ship. Please select four crew members who will pilot the ship to Alpha Centauri and back. Their specialist knowledge and skills will be crucial for exploring this new frontier. Okay, we'll be making these choices together then, I'm sure. I don't know anymore. <laughs> okay, let's just go on and head and have a look into people. So this would be Siopan Hardigan, archaeologist. Dr. Shiopan Hartigan joins us on the recommendation of our sponsors at the Minerva Consortium. She brings a lifetime of archaeological experience in some of the world's most dangerous dig sites. Her methods have been described as controversial, but all agree that if Alpha Centauri has secrets waiting to be discovered, Hartigan is the woman to expose them. Grave robbing, too braiding. Please, archaeology is the story of our world, our collective birthright. How dare we consider wasting that on Philistines who just want to hoard history for themselves? Alrighty, that's sort of a person, an archaeologist. You don't need to feel bad about English, Dayanda. <laughs> Not when I do, it's so bad. Mm. <laughs> These days. Great example. So next one would be a possible test pilot Malcolm Winters. Test pilot Malcolm Winters is on a loan to us from the United States Air Force, assisting our engineers on lantern designs. He disapproves of humanity's great quest to reach the stars, feeling that we are not yet ready to face what may be out there. Despite this, his presence is recommended for more challenging terrain or mission critical operations. With his help, civilians' training times have been reduced to just three weeks, allowing every prospective member on the mission to handle over 80% of predicted galactic terrain types. We are operating Pandora's box just being out here. God, I hope we can close it again. Hmm. There, would, there would be Alessandra Lacovelli, from, that is an engineer. Dr. Alessandra Lacovelli is the head of the IASA Engineering Corps responsible for the Gnosis Drive, the impulse engine that has made round trips to Mars a matter of days rather than weeks. Unlike most candidates, she has no desire to even set foot aboard the ship. Her recent concerns involving the jump drive's magnetic substance navigation have, however, convinced IASA that if the worst does happen, the best should be on hand to fix it. I'm sure it's fine, really. We'd be looking at unprecedented gravitational forces. The odds are astronomical, but then isn't everything in space? Hmm. Then there would be a botanist, Ash Malhotra. Dr. Ashwin Ash Malhotra claims to have been nominated by our botanical team through the strategic use of direct quote, my guitar and a patrically annoying tune I kept singing at them until they surrendered. We have not dared investigate in any event, Maltora's skill with terrestrial and exo exoplanet life from Mars and Europe makes him an ideal handler of any botanical discoveries we may find on Alpha Centauri or beyond. I told my husband that Iasa was thinking of shooting me into space. Never seen him so happy. Right. So then there would be, oh, I guess this is also like tells what sort of a special item they bring along with them. Like she would be bringing a crystal skull broke from Shiopa's personal collection. He would be bringing a major lander repair. So that would be able to repair the lander unit that goes into planets to gather resources and so on. If it gets damaged, which it will at different times. 
there are two more difficult planets to go and uh, try to get resources from and so on and forth after all. Uh, I don't know, for some reason typos in English feels a lot worse. Hmm, they should an education system for give up all typos in native language, maybe. Uh, is it the full point of Pandora's box story that it shouldn't be opened? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Annoying too, and clearly qualified for spaceflight, totally. She is bringing Alessandra's toolbox, so Alessandra's personal equipment for repairing devices. Sounds good, she is after all an engineer, so would definitely be useful, but all of them would probably be useful, so we'll see what we choose. And the uh, Gwendoline would apparently be Ashes pet plant. Okay. Then there would be someone with a white pill, a penoid spill, Mark IV, penoid use only, signed by Dr. P. Vertiel. Okay. So, Penoid Vertiel, theoretical physicist. Penoid Vertiel, doctorates omitted for reasons of space, shot to attention as one of the world's youngest field metal recipients, despite or perhaps directly related to a reputation for being difficult to work with. He spent the next decade moving between prestigious posts before finding a home working with Professor Le Lebedev, a rare mind he respects working on the theoretical mathematics of subspace navigation. If any brain on Earth is ready for the impossible everyone agrees, it is worthier. Quietly, they show that he may even find his own people out there. The universe is mathematics, and I am the master. Hmm. Okay. Then there would be another person with major hull repair. Or actually, this was a lander repair unit, yeah, major lander repair, and this is then the whole repair for the its the spacecraft itself, apparently. Harmonic replating. So, Kristen Parasso, an astronaut. Few in human history have spent more time in space than Kristen Parasso. Following her second tour aboard the ISS-2, ESA brought her on as a consultant during the ship construction phase. Her first-hand guidance on living in space for extended periods has been invaluable to the Daedalus engineering team, as they prepare for both the test flight and the extended 16-man operation 2 to follow. A recent cancer diagnosis has disqualified her from consideration for those. She has, however, been cleared for our last trip, pending medical approval. Give me stars instead of skies any day, I'll take the chance to get back where I belong. Hmm. Well, I kind of would feel bad not to take her when she really is an astronaut and would want to be going out there, to be honest. I would kind of have to say. So I kind of feel that we have to take her. <laughs> uh, but I'm not sure yet. Then there is a Nikolai Lebedu, researcher. Few have contributed more to our century than Professor Lebedu, though his name remains unknown outside of the top secret labs and halls of government where he has spent his career. As lead researcher on the Daedalus jump drive, he is finally in a position to get his due. Despite his advancing years, he has requested a place on the mission in event of trouble requiring a firm hand, or the lifetime of experience leading it to, to its success. Humanity's next small step is about to become our next giant leap. I will make sure of it. Then, and he had the Critter Repellent, protection from small planet-side creatures. Hmm. Then there is someone with distress beacon which calls for help, apparently. And uh, Mission Planner, Miriam Wagner. Miriam originally joined EASA as an applied physicist, working on semiconductor technologies that became part of our standard scanner array. Recently, however, she took the lead on our Space is for Everybody campaign, fearing a future where only scientists still looked up at the stars. She has spent much of her time trying to encourage more to join Yasan's mission, and to make it a place to share the dream. Earth will always be our mother, but children must leave the nest. We will not truly grow up until we prove we can make our own way in the universe. Then there is someone called Simon Castillo, corporate executive. Seems like that is a perfect person to be leaving into this sort of a mission. <sighs> Mr. Castillo is vice president of commercial development for the Ciaparelli Mining Group, Yasa's largest private sector partner and the second largest corporation of the solar system. 
Their money financed the research and construction of the Daedalus test ship. Mr. Castillo has dedicated, decided that he should be personally present to see what billions of dollars buys in this new space age, as well as organize any immediate exploitation of assets. I don't do sound bites. Call my assistant. Salvage kit that he is bringing along. Everything a scavenger needs to harvest wrecks and ruins. Great. So then there's someone called Zoe Creed, civilian observer. Australian student Zoe Creed began writing about her love of space at the age of 16. Seven years later, her Sweatrobe website posts one of the largest young scientist communities on the internet. Since last April, she has been acting as the Daedalus Project embedded reporter, producing daily blogs and videos. Their online success led to Yasa inviting her to join the mission as video chronicle of the test flight. Told my professor I might have to put my PhD on hold. Where, when I explained, he said, said if I didn't, he'd track me here by my hair. And since I just got on it the right shade, didn't like that. So Zoe is left off the heart of the Sertro blocking empire. Hmm. Well, that's our choices. Who for do we go in? go and uh, take into our crew and go for this exploration with I do think I want Kristen Barrasso just because well she's an astronaut you gotta take Zoe really do I do I have to take Zoe great <sighs> she's just journalist engineer astronaut old man and the last one maybe yeah an engineer I was thinking that engineer seems to too much like a necessary person to take old man was also the person that really wanted to get into here so that would be a good choice you don't have to <laughs> take zoe i'm not really into zoe myself personally but but yeah engineer would definitely be useful researcher humanity's next small step is about to become our next giant leap i will make sure of it he says you don't have to. Come on. Come on, what? What What do you want? He kind of definitely doesn't seem like one that actually would want to go this Malcolm Winter Sky. I kind of would like to get the archaeologist, but I kind of would like to also get a, another man in the group. So we would at least have two men and two women. So I'm kind of more inclined to take one more man, wh whoever that man would be. So I don't know, maybe it would be one of these theoretical physicists or... Well, theoretical physicist is kind of like a researcher. I don't know. Botanist? Should we take a botanist with us? She has hidden depths, I'm sure. The one after old man was also qualified. Yeah, but do we only have to take the qualifier people? Qualified people. <laughs> A uh, Tomb Raider, a person who doesn't like space, a bad quitter is a person difficult to work with, and a silly business man thing. Yeah, that would be great to go and get that sort of a group set up. <laughs> Take all the people who don't seem like good choices. That would be kind of funny. Uh, so what was said about her exactly? Um... The best one should be had to fix it, but she didn't really want to go, unfortunately. At least these two kind of want to go. Like, he's saying that I will make sure of it, that it will get done, and she definitely wants to be among the stars. I'm sure it's fine, really, we'd be looking at an unprecedented gravitational force. The odds are astronomical, but then isn't everything in space? Hmm. No one else's opinions? Who do we pick? Saten then, or Tayunta? Anyone? Anyone else? <laughs> Never seen him so happy. Theoretical physics, the universe is mathematics, I am the master. Or should we tr truly go and take just the corporate executive because the fun of it? Please don't hover your mouse over the guitarist. <laughs> Please don't do it. Don't take the guitarist. <laughs> uh. Fine, fine, we will not be taking a guitarist. My guitar! And I know it too, it scares me that you might click. <laughs> well, do you want the corporate executing rather than, for example? <laughs> do know. I don't want Zoe though. Personally, I don't want Zoe. 
I could be taking this tree, but uh, I'm kind of interested about the idea of an archaeologist, but should we take this guy? Another physician? No Zoe love. love. No, no, no Zoe love. I think it would be good to have a diverse set of skills as possible. Yeah, I think so too. I do think that the astronaut is definitely a good choice. But what are the better other really good ideas? Botanist would be different. <laughs> but uh, yeah. We could take a corporate executive. He did pay for the trip. Right? He did kind of pay for this whole thing to be even constructed. But do we really want to be flying with the corporate executive? Wait, what did Zoe do? Why no love? Uh, she's just a... She has a Zoetrope so website. She just writes what were the special things that they all bring. Uh, well, she apparently brings some sort of a block. This guy would bring the ash pet plant. Like, you can see it over here when I hover over them. Astronaut has the major hull repair for the ship, which is fine, but not really essential because I am gonna try not to have a, that sort of a situation. This seems very useful what Alessandro as an engineer would be bringing because it's Alessandro's personal equipment for repairing devices. This is okay, I guess. Protection for small planet-side creatures, which is interesting. Ah, she's Australian. <laughs> that's a, that's cool, they went so. What were the special things that they all bring? As indeed. This is brought from Shiopan personal collection, a crystal skull, which sounds very interesting. This would be the major lander repair, which is okay again, but not necessary. Then this would be white peel. Penoids peel marked for penoids use only. Signed Dr. P. Verd here. No idea what pills these are. I know, right? <laughs> uh, the hearts of the sword throw block an empire. So I would just have to go and get the Australian. <laughs> Do you want to go and long trip without an Australian? I know I don't. Out of all the Indiana Jones references, they took the Crystal Skull. Yeah, they definitely did. And this would be a salvage kit. Everything a scavenger needs to harvest the wrecks and ruins. Well, if I want two men and two females, say Jim Jim. If it takes Zoe, then who are we gonna drop? Alessandro Lacavelli or Kristen Barrasso? Do you wanna derive Kristen from the chance to go to space? Why can't there be anyone else who is Australian? I would like to take anyone else than Zoe Creed from Australia. Why can't someone else be from Australia? I just... <sighs> like, so many other choices are more interesting to me than Australian Zoe. <laughs> Look, I'm not here to argue qualifications. <laughs> uh. I don't want her, no. I would be okay taking a Australian, but um, I'm kind of curious about the corporate guy now. Yeah, I'm kind of curious about him. Uh, me, me, myself as well included. I am kind of curious about him. It feels very strange to be going and taking him, but you know. It seems like I should either take this guy as a researcher or the Benoit Veritier as a physician. This guy to look too similar to each other, to be honest. So I think this is the best two males that we can get. Well, we could have taken test pilot, but he kind of really didn't want to leave anyways. And it's not that interesting device that she he has. I wouldn't be caring about the major hull repair that she is bringing, but I just feel so bad not taking someone who actually really wants to be in space. Uh, <laughs> I feel bad not going and taking her. Even though we could be without an astronaut, though it doesn't seem like a logical idea to be going and living in a space journey and not take an astronaut, at least one astronaut with you. It looks too similar to this guy. Yeah, it's a problem. <laughs> you could have a blocky empire. <sighs> Let's take the worst possible group. 
what is the best possible group even? I know this tree would make up the part of it. Maybe then the the actual. <laughs> no, don't leave the astronaut. <laughs> I was thinking that I can't really leave the astronaut, but ah, choose the Kide crew. Choose the Kide crew, but what is the Kide crew? <laughs> uh, but yeah, I do think that I have to at least take the astronaut. But uh, don't listen to those wingers in chat. But we are picking it kind of together. So. Fine, let's just take the freaking corporate guy. Then. Engineer is useful. Maybe we should just run with this when we kind of picked it up first. Kinda. It's a salvage kit. We are letting the corporate guy come along and then we're going and taking these things. I guess we could be having then a look at the ship. Ooh, we can choose color schemes and all. Yeah, those guys. <laughs> <Don't> <laughs> Three fins and an Australian, obviously. Yeah, those guys. <laughs> okay, so... Okay, we can choose which ship we want to be started with. Okay, endurance, which have more strength. Okay, so full strength fuel tank, how much fuel it can carry, max jump range, how far it can jump immediately, exotic matter tank, I'm not exactly exotics, maneuverability is very good, device slots, quite a few, cargo space, pretty decent, ship engine, model controls, fuel injection system, jump drive range, and exotic matter collector. Resource processing module including converters for minerals, metals, and gases. Chuck in a didgeridoo, we all said. Oh, come on. <laughs> ah. I'll, I'll think about the crew still, but but we should be picking up these other things too, otherwise we'll never be able to leave. Uh, ship scanner. Model controls the planetary scanner array for detecting life forms, weather and resources. Spatially corp mining laser, top of the line Martian technology for ship efficient asteroid mining. Then there would be the entrance, which has a lot worse maneuverability. More cargo, really good fuel and fuel tanks. Then there would be ISS Discovery that has a lot less cargo space. I'm not quite sure I like this low cargo space. But the jump range is real huge. Fuel tank, all restraint, exotic matter tank are all small. There is plenty, plenty of device slots though. Uh, yeah, then we kind of look through everything. Hmm, what do we want? There's three ship choices. Didn't think about it, that might actually work. To <laughs> just take the cherry do. Uh, I don't know. What ship do you guys like? I kind of don't want to pick the endurance. Because it's just like, uh, who needs this much of, much of a full strength really? But uh, would it then be rather the discovery that has way too low cargo space in all honesty in my to my liking even though it has nice amount of device or is it just this normal little Lysius that is kind of a very balanced craft didn't I don't know what about the lander this is the thing that we land with to gather resources and so on then. A uh, model manages lander control, fuel injection system for integrity and pilot safety, lander trail, model manages trail system, filters and materials confession for all known planetary types, lander probe, model controlling fuel usage and planetary counts absorption and pilot ejection, a safeguard lander operation in event of a critical failure, cargo space, yeast and dish, uh, trail efficiency is very good and hull strength, in Odyssey, then there's a serenity, that looks like that. This would be Serenity. Whole strength still decent. A little bit more on the cargo space. I guess. It's kind of strange when it's like all three rows but not complete into this. Mm, more device slots. I kind of liked the idea of having more device slots on this. Balancing it sounds reasonable to me if it's blind. Mm. Serenity looks pretty sweet. Balance for first try, surely. Yeah, I was thinking about that too. Uh, Serenity, then Pathfinder would be like this. I 
I don't like Pathfinder because it has so little cargo space because I don't want to be going into a planet all the time. Plus, full strength is kind of bad because there's also a possibility nonetheless to go fire planets and stuff. So, it's actually here, it's way more essential to have more whole strength nonetheless because if we don't, we might get into huge troubles, I'd say. Um, I don't know, I like Serenity the most from the landers myself. It has a pretty nice amount of cargo space, more device slots with... I don't know what all sort of devices there is, but nonetheless. To be honest, I like the look of all of it, but I vote for Serenity because it makes sense to me. Mm. Yeah, I like Serenity myself. And Ulysses, I guess here is okay, the USS Ulysses, because it's the balance ship. Even though endurance and I like to discover the look and this look is nice too, but as I said I don't think we need this much full strength. So here Ulysses is probably a best choice. Then we can enter a code to generate the galaxy shared with friends and compare the differences your crew and choices make the journey. That's kind of interesting. Enter a code. I don't know how to enter a code. Oh. Like, where am I supposed to enter a code, or is that is it the uh, FKD 94999? Equal 5? I don't know. Maybe it's the equal 5, the code? I'm just not sure how I'm supposed to exactly... Oh, yeah, okay. I can write here. The code, equal 5. Let's, um... Uh... Kide... No, 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 that's not correct. Here. Get a Russia. That's a good goat, right? <laughs> that's a, that's going to be the seed for this first one at least. If someone else wants to be trying it at some point in the future or something. To be honest, it's such a weird thing to say. I wasn't lying up until that point. Hmm. Maybe it's all being lies at this point? Maybe it is. Because I didn't say, ha oh, now back to lying <laughs> at the end of the sentence. Yeah. Sounds good, sweetie. Sounds good. Two minutes long to go to all of this. Yeah. Okay. And I guess this is an okay crew. Let's see how this works. And if you guys want to try it yourself. I said this game is still in the humble bundle for the other Daedalus games as well with $12, so it's not that bad of a price in that sense. Oops. Oops. I didn't mean to do that. Exit. Okay. Then I need to just get that out of there. Good. Let's start. Let's see how this works. So, they are ready to start story mode. For new players, easier exploration of the galaxy, more forgiving lander missions, fewer hazards and safer gravity on planets, slower ship degradation, higher resource values across the galaxy, rewind time if you die. Hmm. I don't need to learn the basics necessary anymore, cause learn how to pilot the ship and lander, launch from Earth, fuel up the own march and embark on... Well, I don't know, I guess we could go through these basics together nonetheless. Iteru show. <laughs> it's the future. <laughs> yeah, totally. Uh, start after the jump. Lost, injured, alone. With a damaged ship and a mysterious device from the alien sphere, the Daedalus 7 crew begins the ultimate space adventure. Oh yeah, I can change from here. So, story mode, adventure mode, or rogue mode. Only for experts. The ultimate survival experience. Aliens drive all the baggage. Enemies can jam your jump drive. Both ships and crew are more delicate. No more rewinding time. Death is dead. Definitely not immediately, but I probably could do adventure mode. If it's a little bit more difficult, keep pushing towards Earth as your ship degrades. Avoid dangerous plants if possible. Hunt for uncommon and rare resources. Rewind time if you die. I think it's okay, because I did nonetheless go through the, like, a tutorial before, so I think this should be okay -ish. Though, we'll see how that will be working out. <laughs> At least I can still rewind time if I die in this, so, in that sense. So, but should we go and start from the Earth, learn the basics? I think it's still a good idea, so that you guys can a little bit see too how it works, and if it's kind of the story, 
the start of the story in a sense, then it makes sense. Let's start from the earth, I think. So, the journey begins. We need our final crew member to join us in orbit launch and keep gaining high until the autopilot pilot takes place. Lift off by pointing above your lantern and using trust. Ten, nine, ignition sequence start. Six, five, four, three, two, one. one zero. We have a Yay. We're heading off the space and autopiloting from there. So that's basically how the lander then will work and then it will just take into the ship and uh, we're basically off. Then we are in the minimap, so this is our ship orbiting the Earth right now, even though we're at pretty high speed. We can see all the uh, different information here, mission forecast, surface type, gravity, temperature, convection, atmosphere hazards, life form structures and everything. And what resources there is, apparently. Lander hull, lander cargo, lander pilots. Then by that we can go into the ship menu in here. Where we can see everything, what everyone is saying and everything. The uh, different items that we brought with us. I'm not exactly sure how this all will be working. Computer for something, I'm not sure exactly what that is. Database. We can see what this is. A brief stop on Mars. We need to visit the Schiaparelli mining colony on Mars to collect exotic matter for the jump. Okay, so fly to Mars, mark on the minimap, enter orbit and land. Then here's the bridge. We can see our ship. What we exactly have. Exotic matter tank. Zero. Otherwise, we are in full condition. Everything is working fine. There's some different empty spots where we can have new stuff for our ship in the future. Then our lander is also doing well. Everything is working all a okay. Here's our resources, as I saw. So then we can fuel converter, select gas from the cargo container to refuel the ship. We can then EM refiner, select a mineral from the cargo container to refuel the jump drive tank. And then there's ship repair and lander pay with specific type of resources. Anyways, then the quarters for people to live in. Uh, who should be piloting the lander though? Okay, good night, Jim Jim. See you then on Sunday, I hope. Thanks for the stream. Thank you for being around, Jim Jim, and I hope you sleep well. Have a good weekend. Bye bye. Be seeing you. I'm not sure who should be using this. Maybe Simon should. Yeah, sure. Our salvage kit should allow us to retrieve at least some useful items from ships we encounter. I have nothing to say at this moment. Double checking our salvage kit. We should be able to get just about anything running with this. And this salvage kit is very well equipped. We should have no difficulty finding new technology. And in the laboratory indeed there's items and something. Okay. It is a bad engineer. And there's the Alessandra Sul. It is a bad engineer who blames her tools, but a good one who knows exactly which to rely upon. Nothing to repair, of course. Took my teddy bear up to the ISS too. What? He wanted to see Earth from space. And uh, then sentimental value, hardly a fitting start for a scientific expedition. Kindly keep your personal belongings in your lockers and storage space. Seems like these guys will get along perfectly. I think. Anyways. Then I just need to be starting to press basically double W to be getting out of here. Even though this shows like we could be using the arrows and we could, but I prefer to use the double W. So, then the minimap. Okay, just need to control this a little bit differently. The minimap is on the right side, like I've tried to use my mouse, but I think that it will a little bit mess with this if I use the mouse at the same time. Go with the decently high speed, we do need to be slowing down to be able to actually start orbiting this place. No. <laughs> like, high speed! need to turn to be able to go and actually start to orbit this planet. It's okay now. It's actually not yet. Oh, it should be there. Yeah, 
It's just a very close circle that we have to be in to be able to start orbiting the Mars. Now then I can just press space so that we start doing the orbiting. Oh, like it's flying. Yeah. We have to do all the flying ourselves and everything. So here we are, mission forecast, ruggies and energy ratings. We need to visit the Shaparali mining colony on Mars to collect the exotic matters for the jump. So then we need to just go on and start landing in here and uh, with the lander and get our resources. So, arrow. And our ship, little, this thing which we caught as a lander unit is going to be going and starting to go down and just then controlling this over here it's not the perfect control but it's not that bad it's kind of like there is those little mini games before too that could be considered as similar to this in a sense i'll just get into that destination of course if we really land badly into somewhere we're gonna be not happy. On the left bottom you can see the hull integrity of this lander unit and also the fuel with the certain type of a marker, you know. It's kind of hard to describe 100%, but you know. Okay, I'm almost there. <laughs> almost. Good. Great landing. So... Do I need to do something else? Okay, visit. Okay, like this. I haven't visited in anything like this before, so... Big EM tank, fuel for the jump drive, complete refill. Continue. So, the Schiaparelli flight control to lander. Welcome to Mars, ESA. Got your freshly approved antimatter right here. Ready for transfer? And yeah, sure, continue. Acquired big EM tank. Uh, continue. Transfer complete, ESA. Wait a sec. Yeah, got another present for you. The boss wants you to test our new prototype shield generator while you're out there. Shouldn't have any trouble fitting it and at least it will protect against energy bursts. Okay, thank you. Safe travels. Bring us back a souvenir. Ship and early out. Okay, and there's not really anything else we can do on Mars, but we have a sort of a colony over here. So let's just get out of here from the Mars atmosphere then. Like this. This reminds me of a game called Lander. Yeah, from the 80s. The same mechanics, just a bit more primitive. Yeah, definitely. That's the thing that I was thinking about, but it's fine. It's okay. We need to return to orbit, put the antimatter into star drive, and install the shield. So open the ship menu and go into the laboratory. Select your new shield and choose a crew member to install it. Select the EM tank in the laboratory and choose a crew member to fuel the jump drive. Okay, so who will be doing this tax in the laboratory then? Minor protection against basic energy posts, and then a PKM tank full for jump drive complete refill. Okay. Give it to me, I will find fill the tank. No problem, give me the tank. Very well, I shall refill us. Fine, I don't mind rolling up my sleeves, so they say. What about this? I can handle that. Give it to your friendly neighborhood, a grease monkey. We acquire all the upgrades that we can find. Oh, good grief. I just plug it in, yes? <laughs> I, it probably wouldn't be a good idea to say that to this guy that, yeah, just installed this thing. I think that could be a little bit of a problem. There is where we should have a very uh, different type of group of people in this for sure. <sighs> Okay, well, hey, we'll see how this group will be doing. I think they should be doing pretty well. We have, a, after all, an astronaut and even the engineer themselves. So, let's uh, let the engineer install this experimental EASA shield into. I think that's a good idea. <laughs> I'm glad we took the corporate guy. What was his name? Uh, we have to look in the quarters what was his exact name. But yeah, he's there. Oh, good cream. I just plug it in, yes. <laughs> we should have taken some of the others, maybe, too. Yeah, gotta be careful to whom you trust these tasks with. Yeah, totally. We'll see. We'll see how this will be going. It's, I don't know. Maybe we should have taken someone else than the engineer. Maybe the two locust. <laughs> but uh, there. This will work with our ship now. Good. Then this... I guess they could do that too. 
but uh, let's let the Austrian do it. That should be enough fuel for three jumps. Good. Good, good. Good, good. And then here, it was Simon Castillo. Simon Castillo. It was... Okay, good. So, hold trust and boost to activate the jump drive. So, let's get out of here first. And, uh... Just boost the way with the shift, left shift. And we shall travel afar. However, exactly this will be then going. Apparently not probably very well, considering we have then a long journey back home and all, but... Uh, Kristen can fix anything. <laughs> it is kind of probably the case. Yeah, I think things are going kind of bad then. Yeah, I think we are. This ship is doing a little bit poorly. I'd say, a little bit poorly. <sighs> as far as I can see, distance to Earth, real far. Well, hey, at least we traveled real far immediately. So, I guess that's cute. Alessandro Cavalier is concussion. Oh, that's a uh, doesn't sound exactly the best. Why did you get that? Concussion monitoring damage and resource stations. No, you should be the lander pilot, though. Hmm. Trusters and guidance systems fully functional. Targeting systems are calibrated. Scanning local area. Prepare for updates. Okay. That's <laughs> good. Oh, okay. Well, let's see then. I shouldn't be using the, that though because I'd like to use it otherwise. So. Far from home. Space folder malfunction. Where are we? This isn't Alpha Centauri. Sensors indicate something large in the debris field is trapping us here. Follow the white arrow to find the jamming signal. Okay. So white arrow is into that direction. So we should be turning. So we can't be backing away with the ship. We can just go forward and then just turn it when we are moving. So that is something that is kind of unrealistic, yes. But... It's not too big of an issue, of course. Let's just see what this is. The seems to be a lot of glimmering over there, though. There was the white arrow. I do think that it was a good thing for me to at least do the tutorial beforehand for some of these things, because otherwise... Hold to leave. Yes, we don't need to leave yet. This is strange, though, I would say. Strange this. Thing. We are finally safe from all that ca all the cancer. Speak for yourself, Scrap Lord. That looks pretty really cool. Yeah, it looks pretty really cool. I'm not sure what it is exactly though. Or would it damage us if we did really poorly? Hmm. Guess maybe we can get something from here. See something. What is that? Check sound. This is Simon Castillo of the Shiparelli Blast. Shiparelli Blast. No internal communications. Are you me hearing me, Dead Dollar Seven? Simon? Uh, yeah, I'm hearing you. So he went with the lander there to investigate most apparently. I'm not sure if he should be the one to do this. <laughs> uh, <ta> blast. <laughs> uh, yes, we are hearing you. Copy that. Beginning exploration of the sphere. Everything's built to a much bigger than human scale. Much of it is rusted over. Giant glass capacitors crackle with trapped lightning. No signs of life or presence. Search sensors say air is ozone, nitrogen. A few ident identified and okay. Found a door. Power still seems to be on. Looks like it's expecting some kind of a signal. What signal should we send, guys? What signal should we be sending? The left one or the right one? The left one or the right one? Eh, tell me. What signal do we try? What do we do? I'm waiting for your guys' uh, response. <laughs> Right one is obviously right. Yeah, you're not wrong about that. The right one, obviously. Okay, well, we go with the right one then. 
Wait, there's a computer terminal here, translating everything I say into symbols. It looks like it might be compatible with our technology. Someone come and collect it, uh, then try and send a signal to me. Hmm. Black translation matrix into our systems. I could assume that it's probably a good idea. I would have said left. I guess that would have been maybe a port. I don't know. <laughs> exactly. So. Okay, so should we go and install it? I think we probably need to. It's probably something we gotta do. But someone else have to go and do it because Simon can't. But, uh, oh, you know. I don't know if the right was right, but maybe it was, maybe it wasn't. Yeah, I'm gonna go with the install. You guys say no or yes. Yes. Install. Have you installed it? Send the code. Okay. The door is curling open, like a flower made of aluminum, walking through it. Endless tunnels leading in every direction. But soft blue lights are heading to some kind of a control center. There's a cradle in the middle of the room. Attached to the ceiling by fires. There's something inside it. A glowing cylinder. I, I can't explain it, but it calls to me. Okay, keystone are so near from the sphere. Hmm. Yes. Acknowledge. Should be able to free it with this a plasma torch. Uh, caught it. Wait. The hum in the air is gone. The spear shutting down around me. Return in the ship while I can. Location left. Well, that was interesting, however. Hold to leave. That's also stop glowing completely. The spear hold on us is gone. We can leave the space graveyard and the systems whenever we like. Well, let's go and get out of them. Actually, I'm not sure I should be doing that while there's some stuff on the way still quite clearly. Maybe I should get into a little bit more of a clearer spot. Charging. And leaving the location. In the space. So we are around here. But uh, where should we exactly then go is kind of a good question. Okay. Let's uh, land here, I guess. Mining, refueling... Uh, repairing refueling. I was gonna show valuable resources on that nearby planet. Okay, so we're gonna come in there. <laughs> or not. Okay. That hurt me a little bit. I should have been more careful when trying to go and land, <laughs> get into orbit of this relatively big planet. Oh well. It's okay. Still, kind of maybe a little bit annoying too. Just gotta carefully inch closer into it so we can get into the orbit. Without plunging into the planet itself, that is. Just slowly but surely. Hopefully, I mean. It's still too far. Okay. Okay, we're good now. Alrighty. Took a little bit of a, ma a file, but uh, hard skip a beat. Oh wow, that noise of pure panic. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Well, it's it's okay now. So anyway, it's mining, remaining, uh, repairing and refueling. I'll scan or show valuable resources on that nearby planet. We can harvest them and use them to fix damage and refuel both our fuel and EM tanks. Drill for uh, metals on the nearby planet, scoop gas on the nearby planet. On the resource screen, use the metal to repair your ship. And on the resource screen, use the gas to refuel the ship. And then we should just land. And of course, there's the helium is found and aluminium and sulfates as a mineral too, so all sort of stuff, service type rock, gravity average, subtractic, and atmosphere moderate. Doesn't seem too difficult because the harmless forecast, so good. Let's go. That's good that the heart skipped just a little bit of a beat, right? Right. Okay. Just a slow approach, hopefully, or not. Well, that was a little bit tougher than it sh would have needed to be, but you know, there is some nice stuff here at least. We can start to be mining this. 
fuel is of course used, but at least we're gonna be getting some sulfate as a resource, which is good. We can get pretty good amount of stuff also into this uh, after all, before needing to go and uh, take it back to ship. I don't think this will be giving us more because I basically trailed all the way through this uh, yellow area, didn't I? Well, there might be just a little bit more, but I'm not sure really. Okay, that didn't seem to be bringing anything, so I think that's all that we're gonna be getting from that. But there's some aluminium here too, too, so that is definitely something we can also try to get. And no free container anymore, so we have to be going and taking this back home. Or up, that is. And uh, then we also need the other type of resource, as in some sort of a cast, to be able to get into fuel. But at least take this to the ship, so we can repair it a little bit. Let's see, so tap, go into ship, let's have a look into... Doing some of the repairs, well that doesn't really need repairs, does it? More like we need fuel than fuel converters and everything. So this is mineral refill EM specifically. This refills uh, fuel and this re repairs hull, so it's okay. It's Let's just uh, go again, lad, and get some of the other stuff over there, I'd say, first. So we do have to go and kind of do this a couple of times, but it's okay. Okay, now I'm just going to be pressing the double V the full way so we don't actually just crash immediately. Crash land absolutely immediately. <laughs> slowly but surely getting over here and the gases are a little bit more interesting stuff to go and try to get though when you have to be kind of like hovering over it to be able to get the gas which is kind of a well I guess it's kind of logical but uh, it's also strange oh, damn it some helium helium Definitely not the easiest thing to always do. Am I not gonna get more helium? Did I get more? Am I really not gonna get more? There we go. A little bit more helium. Yay, more helium. <laughs> it's not that so like going from one area to the other with like this. anymore. Yay, more helium. It's good to have a good reserve. This is specifically the thing that you can get into fuel, so... Let's see if we can get a little bit more before going off. Chlorine absorber polluted. That's not good. Already wear and tear like that. That's not good at all. Okay, well... Already polluted. That's lovely. Immediately some... Some destruction for us. At least we got a decent amount of helium, though it's actually not a lot of fuel, to be honest. Little bit of fuel. Extremely little bit of fuel. So lovely. But it does seem like we at least have those, well, lantern bays at least now actually damaged a little bit so we can definitely fix ourselves if I can. Yeah, aluminium can be used for that. Refinery and repair pins are working. Congratulations. Oh. Let's go at least one more time because there was some more stuff over there. And uh, get some more aluminium and the other resource. But uh, there's definitely the way more difficult planets, like I said, this is a pretty easy planet. There's something on that red anyway, so I'm interested to know what that is exactly going to be. Could be something interesting. Just slow down. Don't, no need to go that far. It is kind of bad that I already got that one thing completely damaged though. But, what can you do? What is this thing over here? What is this red? What is this? 
a visit, okay? Let's go and visit. What is this? These mushrooms are incredible. Lots of small creatures scramble around the shade of their caps, digging out huge hunks of the flesh to feast on. They don't seem to mind my presence at all. This looks exotic. Hmm. Uh, they don't seem to mind my presence at all. Occasionally, one looks over and howls, but then gets bored, lies down, and goes to sleep. Should we explore? I don't think we <laughs> did. We land in Morrowind. Possibly, possibly. It could be a possibility that we landed on Morrowind. Do kind of wonder what exactly that does, but I think it's the part that gets the gases, and then it's going to be less efficient because I use it so much. Oh well. Well, explore, of course. I've discovered an interesting looking plant. Scanner gives it the scientific name Matelea Dragunculus, bringing up a sample. sample. Hmm, I wonder what that sample is. Uh, Dragunculus sounds kind of bad, like Dracula, Dragunculus. But, uh, I don't know. Is it good? Is it bad? I can't kind of refuse though. Like, it's. We got our first interesting thing like this, so it's like, I, I have to go and take it, right? Probably the animals will be all mad and come and attack us, right? I don't know. I guess we'll take it. <laughs> Heading back to the lander. Location left. Okay, well, let's go and get some more aluminium and then head off. Aluminium is the thing that I didn't yet take that much as I could have taken it. Not that bad at using this lander as sus. Let's just go and drill a little bit more into here. Forehead burn out again already. That's freaking great. Uh, let's pick at least some more nonetheless while we're at it. Try to get some more aluminium. It feels as a shame to leave without getting some more anyways. It's just so much more inefficient now when that we're out. Come on, just get a little bit more of that aluminium good. Finally, at least a little bit more. I guess after that I kind of have to leave because I have basically already running out of fuel. And I don't know if I'm gonna get any more, more loot. Yeah, take all the things. <laughs> even if they will be destructive for us. Who knows? I don't know what that freaking plant will do for us. It's Rakunculus, so I said the sound doesn't sound the most promising thing, but I may be wrong, I may be right. So yeah, uh, model controlling fuel uses and planetary gas, so minus 60% chlorine yield. So yay, and this already broke, so yield on rock planets, minus 60%. Freaking great, both of them are already damaged so quickly. <sighs> How do I fix them? I guess I could be using one of those things that could be fixing them, but I kind of don't wanna just use it like that. So, I guess that's okay. The spear's hold on us is gone. Yeah. Well, we just gotta be leaving somewhere, I guess. We'll just have to decide where we're exactly going next. Everything must be taken very much. Some alien it just starts growing in the ship. Yep. Oh yeah, I guess I should be having a better look into that though. In the laboratory. Biological sample. <laughs> so yeah, they could eat it. I cannot get distracted by this. Okay, so the engineer or the, the, the corporate guy wouldn't even eat it. But everyone else... Well, in the spirit of scientific inquiry, or wouldn't mind a quick snack, and it is not for a protein mash, it will be delicious. So what? Uh, do we eat the Mateleo Dracungulus, or uh... <laughs> They're right away eating it! Apparently so! Apparently so! <laughs> well, almost all would be eating it, not this guy. Okay, let's have a look into Keystone. What do they say about that? Clark's Law, this truly is indistinguishable from magic. It's weird, I think I can hear it singing. I feel I could spend a lifetime studying this and never even fully appreciate its simplicity. 
I never believed in fate. Why do I feel we were meant to fund this? Hmm. Then there is a medical kit. I'm sorry I can't work like this because there's the concussion, but it feels a little bit too early to start to be just curing the one ailment. Unfortunately, then there's the salvage kit. But uh, not really anywhere to use it in anyways, nor the critter repellent harmonic replacer, uh, Alessandra's toolbox. It's a bad engineer for blinzer tools. Repairing devices, but I don't know how would it this be used if we would be starting to repair the devices like in this. I don't know, should we test that? Or should we eat? <laughs> mm. And yeah, they are not clearly biologic. We would have been having the possibility of having that one botanist along the way, so... Yeah, there would have been that possibility. Can't run samples or something? <laughs> who do you th like... Uh, who do you like the, less, the least? I don't know who I like the least. And Sun's engineer could maybe be trying to fix some devices. In that case, the plant is poisonous. Maybe we shouldn't be trying to eat it yet. But, uh, okay, so it would be used for now. I don't know if we can use it again then later, because at the moment it would have just fixed that lander device like that. I hope we can, because it, it would kind of suck if that's the thing that we used it on and then we could never use it again. <laughs> you know who, but maybe not eating it yet is better. Yeah, maybe. Okay, so... Here should be more planets. There's the little bit of a... Is this the thing where we came from, this orange thing? Probably was, because I think it was the case. Yeah, that's the weird thing, right? That we were on. I'm not sure, actually. Was it this thing or was it not? Yeah, it was this thing. Yeah, okay, good. Just wanted to make sure that it was, and it was, so that's good. I can just leave from here because this was exactly the base we, place we were at, so that's good. So, then it's just a question, do we go and investigate all of the other planets over here? How much dangers will they have for us? That seems at least like that's a white star, so... Not quite like ours. Let's see, what are these things? On the other hand... I could be boosting a little bit to get a little bit higher speed, but this seems like a gold planet. Pretty gold looking planet, at least to my perception. Let's just uh, start to be getting over in here, I'd say. Yay, good. Easy. So surface type is indeed ice, so that has its own difficulties. Carbonized mineral common. Mm, I guess that's okay. We could at least go and check it out. Space is so mysterious. It is for sure. It is for sure. I spun it. As it's definitely its own hazard, though. Yeah, it doesn't seem that there's anything else interesting other than the some carbonates. But while we are here, why not go and try to get some of them? Seems easy enough for us to go and do, after all. No, oh, no, 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 too high of a speed to land, thank you very much. Let's just go and get here, so we can try to get some carbonites before heading out. Yay. Then trailing this, and getting some of this resource. I think there's a little bit more that we might be able to get from here. Not a lot, though. Yeah. Uh, Borehead cool and level low. Okay. Um, I don't know what that exactly again did, though. It's like, I don't know exactly the reasons why it breaks or something, but I think that is all that we're really gonna be getting from here anyways, so... Let's just head off from here. But I do like the way these planets look and sounds like... They're a little bit uh, showing the background and all. Well, we got a little bit more stuff, so it's okay-ish. Uh, let's just 
start to be heading forward then in the tier, into this cluster, whatever that is. I don't know what it is. We don't need to be leaving from here. It seems to be an asteroid belt, but that's good. We can try to actually get some uh, minerals from the ast asteroids or these things. Those white arrows are showing where we could be getting some minerals from these. So that's a pretty decent as long as you don't completely get yourself damaged into this, of course. I could be also charging up our weapons systems. Or so we can are ready to destroy that when we get there. So to get those minerals alarm a mode. Otherwise this ship is at least doing pretty well. Nonetheless. I just don't want to have too high of a speed because it could probably be pretty catastrophic over here on this, uh, in the astero asteroid belt, I'd say. It would probably be best that I don't just uh, avoid that a little bit. Then just over here. Yeah, I could deactivate the weapons, but I just want to get into our destination of those couple of arrows, which would have some resources for us. Hey, that's a resource. Note. No, that's the wrong button. I'm just thinking, what was the fire of a subspace button? Yeah. So let's just fire a little bit. Okay, there we go. So what resource did we get? That's something we want. Fun iron, okay. That's also something. I think that's all that was here. Then there's another one over here somewhere. Oh, right there. Good. Oh. Again, I accidentally already take, took those weapons offline, even though I didn't mean to. Not too big of an issue, but a little bit silly, yes. Now we don't need it anymore, because we got everything we could hopefully get from here for sure. So this is definitely one resource. Was there anything else? Cargo space is full already. That's bad. That sucks. We can't take all of it. Aw. Okay, well, fine. Apparently no more for me. Imagine all the buttons in the spacecraft. <laughs> totally. There's a few. I mean, few things for sure. Fuel converter. I could be using some of this. Which one is better to use helium or hydrogen? Eh, doesn't really matter. Let's use that all, I guess. I got a good amount of sulfates. Did I need to repair anything? I definitely can repair our lander, but that's for fill EM. This is the iron can repair hole a little bit. I should have gotten I should have repaired first and then picked up some more iron and so on and forth, but too late kinda now, unfortunately, when I did it this way around. But okay, well how's it going for seven two? It's going okay. I'm trying out this game. Which we'll see if we'll like it or not, but it's at least okay. We'll see how the story exactly where it will be going. I don't think it's best idea for me to go to the White Star. At least I assume that there's not really anything that I can get useful from there. So let's just uh, head off out from this system then, I'd say. Wherever we are going. But uh, hopefully you have had a good week for 7-2. Okay, so distance to Earth, normal radiation, few liquid planets, many rock planets. E this is the Eta Orionis that we were at. We could either travel to Lonecrin or to Fortuna, wherever we want to go. This was a uh, white dwarf. We pretty much explored all of those places. Got stuff. There would be uh, silicates, carbonates, iron, magnesium, platinum, copper, helium, fluorine, hydrogen. Uh, Trifit Nebula, normal radiation, few liquid planets, many rock planets, apparently yellow dwarf over there. Fortuna is then a yellow dwarf too, but there's only copper there. Hmm, that's kind of not a lot of resources according to this. This, this definitely would have many more resources. Well, <laughs> this is not Morrowind. Yeah. Is that bad or good thing? That's a good question. 
they should just have the Xbox control and the cockpit or something. They seem to be that seems to do the trick. Uh, yeah, totally. No, just wanted to make sure you'd not think that you missed some large part of the story or something. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's go into Lonic Cream. I think this is more interesting. This is just very high level mode. Totally. Mission day one. Yellow Dwarf. Our ship wasn't built for this. We need to find allies and operate it if we're going to make it back to Earth. Okay, so where are we? It seems like we're here on this... Oh, what is that green that is coming towards us? That's some different spaceship, I assume. I gotta meet with it. Whatever it is, it's definitely coming to us. Uh, hello. Interception. But, good or bad? That's the question. What is the ship? Press to answer call. Yes, we shall do that. Transcom communication established. New race added to database. Full flux message. Okay. Weapons off. Shields off from them. Okay, good. Full flux like Shirak. Hail. What a strange vessel. You face Shirak. Full flux, knight of the blue. Will you spar? That we can see each other's soul in glorious combat. Well, do you guys want to spar this well guy and see if we die against his weapons? Because that's very much a possibility. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, there's this game called Spore in which you evolve from basically a wish and into a space eventual. Yes, I have played that one. Sadly, Spore isn't that good. It gets pretty fast, pretty boring. Yeah, I. it is kind of the... I do kind of agree with that. I don't think it's the amazing game or some sauce, but... Still, it's sometimes fun to play. So, spar or no spar? Tell me, guys. Is Sineku Soten then 472 Tayunda? Or tell me, do we spar this guy immediately when we meet and just another new alien race? Immediately, the first thing that they want is fight us. Yeah, I like the few first game modes, yeah, more so. And yes, uh, I don't want to spar a person in his underwear. <laughs> Do you know that's underwear? Maybe it's just the way they dress. Do you judge them by the way they dress? <laughs> Would they be offended? We pro they probably will be offended if we say no. No. That's for sure. That's my opinion. I wonder if I can go and say uh, visit quarters and see what they would be thinking about this. I guess I can. Hmm. Nothing that they would be exactly saying about this, though. Yeah, maybe something got lost in the translation. Don't know what uh, he means by sparring. I I think it's like. Battle? Just like certain warrior cultures are the type that you w battle against them and uh, then see who does better. But space compass seems kind of dangerous with that sort of sparring. A vicious game of chess. So it, it could be that too. Who knows? What is this thing that you would exactly suggest? Do you want to go into battle of death and all? Who knows? Or is it indeed a chess game? I wouldn't know. So, to do or not to do? I'm asking you guys the question. Well, this cynic said no. Let's bar. Okay, you change your mind? <laughs> Even though he is in possibly underwear. Sure. Okay, good. Let's do it then. Mm, yes. Wolfus, Night Shirak. Ha! Huh. Some spirits. Then let us. Wait. Yes, yes. I have a much better idea. You strike me as a creature. So odd. I beg a favor. My squire grows overconfident. He says he had to taste a real combat. He feels he knows everything there is to face in this galaxy. A new alien, huh? Yes, 
will you be my dragon and shake him for his complacency? Sure, why not when we already are sparring? Well, if we lose our ship, it's on you guys. <laughs> uh, accept. Capital. Do not fear damaging his ship. It is but a thing. If a few hours contemplation in a gold escape boat can teach him what I cannot, a new vessel will be money well spent. Okay. Okay. Well, that ship is leaving. So alien transmission receives starboard and gate locations added to the galaxy map. They sound like places for trading. We might also be able to refuel, get repairs, and mend our injuries. And then Fallplug's knife has asked us to teach his choir, Maul, a lesson in humility somewhere in this star system. Hmm. I would say no to chess. I played against death today in <laughs> Crusader Kings and lost. Aw. That's unfortunate sort of a situation, I would have to admit. So, I assume it's that other blue dot, to be honest. Uh, I'm just like thinking, do I want to go into there first or just go there? But I guess I want to go and just meet with this alien first and see about doing this mission, so to speak. Wherever he is exactly going. Squire Mole, yeah. Yeah, initiate encounter before I crash into that planet. <laughs> Thank you. Answer call. Incoming call. Squire Mole, alien ship by the authority of Topol Posnatch, I shall destroy you. Back your course for the mercy, I shall not show you. Weapons on, shields on. Oh dear. Um. Well, I'd imagine that is this decently formidable opponent. What do, what do I know? Yeah, that's a good question, of course. So, we'll see if I can manage to do the combat. I'm not 100% sure I do, so we'll see. Ah, uh, well, that was at least a good start, I'd say. Uh, where is he? Where did he even go? Where did he go? He just, like, vanished up there somewhere. I don't know where he is. Uh, before you leave? Did he just leave? What? Where did he go? The cowardly squire Maul has fled the battle. We should follow him and finish this. Oh dear. Why did he just immediately... <laughs> Please. But would death win against a computer opponent? That's a good question as well. <sighs> of course we crashed into that because of this freaking mole guy. Okay, I need to get to him. He's fleeing. I cannot accept such cowardice. Making some notes on our dealings with those wolf it is clear we cannot afford to play those tiresome crash hopper games. I don't know. I wanna at least fight this battle. I, I kinda maybe agree with you, but right now I wanna be able to try to do this. It's just so difficult sometimes to actually try to turn quickly at least. Just to initiate jump. Yeah, yeah, I don't want to jump. I want to get to this freaking mole guy who fled. Fled, he did. Let me just boost a little bit at least. So to speak. Okay. Ready to initiate. Oh, I think I gotta go around this now. Of course, well, he's there. Uh, annoying guy. And yes, a coward he is. Very much so. For God's sakes. This does take a while when I'm trying to trust or boost. Hmm. Remember, we will take damage every time we jump. We must be careful. And understood. Just that I would like to be able to actually turn there. I will do the same for the crew. Deal, uh, Dr. Lackaville. You hold our ship together. I will do the same for the crew. If you say so, misters. I just want to do this battle. <laughs> but uh, then I'm going all around the place. 
and I'm trying to get there. Uh, okay, let's just slow down a little bit. So that I might be able to get to him a little bit easier. He is trying to avoid me quite, quite well though. Certainly enough. I will have none of it, if possible that is. I have you now, I think. Don't think you have a chance to escape me right now, which I would very much appreciate. You're being very annoying, Squire Maul. You're being quite annoyance. Quite a bit of an annoyance. I just don't want to be speeding too much because I'm afraid that will then cost me to uh, again launch all the way, like way too far. God damn it, this guy. Okay, got it. I want to do the combat. Oh dear. <laughs> now I'm like, oh dear. I'm not sure this was the best idea then. <laughs> After all. Yep, not sure that this was the best idea. I've actually suffered quite a bit of damage. Well, I'm doing okay-ish for now, I guess. Sometimes at least. Yay, we did it. Phew. Barely. I didn't answer his second call even accidentally. I kind of meant to, but then I didn't. Okay, I must survive. Murder us. Yeah. <laughs> Madeline isn't hard. Get into it is. <laughs> Definitely. Oh, nice though, yeah. Squire Maul came on board. Ha. We got him on board. <laughs> we just picked him up on board. Okay. Let's just... Safe haven. We defeated the Squire Mall. What we did we do we need to do with him? His master should meet up with us soon. Okay, that's good. That's fine. Making some notes on our dealings with the Wolfers. It is clear we cannot afford to play those tiresome transfer games. Kinda true, but let's just meet up with this guy first. We do need to repair our ship though. <laughs> Thank you, good job. <laughs> Am I relieved? Don't have to carry the destruction of your ship on my shoulders. <laughs> Uh, hello, interception. I hope I get something decent out of this at least. Yes. Answer call. Ha! A fine performance here. A reward. You have made a friend today. Something of an enemy too, perhaps. But do not fear. I think he will come around. Once he has finished scrapping out the enchant core and penance, hand him over. Well, I don't think it's a good idea to say, nope, I'm not gonna be giving him over. <laughs> So, I say that yes. And yeah, I thought that I was toast too. Uh, no longer so confident for folks in trading. Squire Mole. Give. Galati Count enabled current credits. Ooh, 620 credits. That's not too bad. Full Fox Knife Shirats, come aboard, Maul. Yes, I see in his eyes. He will not forget to stay. Here, your ship appears damaged. This is one of our star bases, and they will handle the repairs. Well, do we want to insult him, praise him, show, talk? I could show the plant, but let's talk first, I guess. So, where is your home planet? I would ask for Fulk's Knights. The true knight's home is in his starship. Planets are for children and serfs. Okay, well, uh. It's one way to look at it. So, what about your work? I fear I have nothing else for you. Perhaps our star base will have something. Well, as a work, yes, okay. Uh, do you have any gossips to share? You came at a difficult time, strangers. Fulfbug's empire finds itself torn. Knight and surf almost at each other's throats. Darkness. But we shall prevail. 
What about you? How much longer is this pander likely to take? Uh, we have great business elsewhere. I'm sorry. I uh, I want to show you something. The Metale Tracungulus first. Would you know anything about this? Without seeking to insult, we must move on. Adventure await as it no doubt awaits you. Farewell. Aww. Uh, fine. Fine then. Uh. Fine. Let's get into a space station or something, and we probably should be repairing our ship and everything for sure, too. Just a little bit. We do have some resources, but we did get quite a bit of a damage for sure as well. So let's refill this thing too, so we can actually use the jump mechanic more. Ah, ship repair bench. That also refills the, um, it's kind of bad. So many things that refill this for in our uh, storage, but not actually stuff for this. A little bit of a repairs and then fuel converter. We are really running low on the fuel, so that's definitely a problem. And yeah, Root got ditched. He clearly saw something sinister in there. <laughs> Flat and skip. That's possible, or he just gets so bored about talking. They are more about battles for those guys, or running away in battles. As the one guy was before. Which is also possible. Boar head cool and level low. Yeah, I know. The Fulpas talk about honor a lot. Let's hope the lady doesn't protest too much. Hmm. Okay, yeah, it was actually just completely used at one thing, so I'm really, I'm kind of un not happy that that thing can't be used immediately for just repairing that and it broke immediately again. Uh, not that I had any idea that how well it would be used, so that's kind of unfortunate. Immediately using that one. Erase a warlike court. <laughs> uh, indeed. Uh, but hey, first battle and a victory, no less. Yes, very much so. I put my fate in court to hold us together. For those not of fate, be glad we brought so much to of duct tape. <laughs> yeah, good. We have enough duct tape. Lovely. That's perfect. Jonas of the space. That's perfect. In duct tape, we trust. So it is. Duck Dave will be our savior, clearly. So let's just see about this planet. Maybe we can find some fuel somewhere. This seems to be quite of a quite fiery planet, though, so it might be a bit of a dangerous thing, I'd have to say. Huh? I didn't get to into that orbit. Maybe I'll have better luck getting into orbit of this epic planet at least. I hope. This seems to be a lot of fire though, so that is really, yeah, in temperature is inferno. Mission forecast, high risk. There is metals though, magnesium, platinum, I don't even need those as much though, I need specifically fuel. Uh, Duck Dave holds the ship together, Duck Dave is uh, like the forest, light side, dark side, and it holds the universe together. Yeah, it certainly does. It seems to be the case. I think that might be a little bit too risky though. I wonder if they had the space station here, or was the one on the left of the space station? I'm not sure. Let's go and have a look into these planets at least a little bit and see if we can find anything really useful over here or something. This seems to be a gas giant, so it's good and bad. It definitely at least should be able to then have some nice amount of gas, which we can use into getting a uh, mission focus deadly in Hirasawa. Surface type is gas, gravity extreme, temperature inferno. That's kind of bad when it's even temperature inferno and gravity extreme. Convection moderate. The keystone is my responsibility, Dr. Lacovelli. I will uncover its secrets. I will unlock our pad back home, says the researcher. Intriguing. To Dr. Lacovelli. I bow to you on theoretical matters, Professor Lebede. However, this is applied physics. This is my specialty. Oh, they're gonna be starting to argue about that matter. Hmm. Oh dear. Alrighty. Well, I'm not sure. Will we risk it going to here? I don't know. Maybe. Maybe not. Maybe very bad, but 
On the other hand, we really need gas to get actually fuel. So there's that problem. Even if this planet is deadly. Hmm. We could of course try for a short bit and then just get quickly out. Or maybe I should find the space station first. Maybe I should find the space station first. We'll try to remember that and maybe come back a little bit later. Ugh. What's this thing? Is this also like a big gas pl gas planet? I think it is kind of actually. Ah, oh, mission forecast is also deadly here. Gravity extreme, adventure inferno. <sighs> Unless there's a lot of gases. I don't want to risk us any further. Do what you see fit. Mm. How soothing is the pearl of a well-maintained engine? I don't know, man. You tell me. Fuel warning, I know. A safe haven. Yeah, I don't know where though. Uh, let's see. Does this tell us anything about... Where the safe haven could be. Star system width. Okay, we need to go to star system width. I guess we should go there to the, for the repairs and mens and everything then. And get some lo uh, quests. I guess this would be the thing that we should really go, just go on and do immediately. I think so. So, star system width. Okay. So, initiate jump. Engines and let's get hell out of here. And travel to it. We have too few too little fuel so where is wit it's nowhere to be seen even where is wit where is this thing supposed to be that we are supposed to go into <sighs> I don't know that's Margaret that's hosty I don't see anywhere any... There's some ship. Yeah. Helps a lot. Star system width. I have no idea where that is though. Full bunks was the errand that we did. Yeah. Sector gate with Trifit Nebula. Or is it in the Trifit Nebula? Hmm. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what to think about that exactly. I don't know everything. Um, I'm going to go somewhere where there's good amount. Nitrogen seems to be uncommon there. Nitrogen and helium common. Let's go to Knick and see what's up there. Uh, maybe we'll get uh, some little bit easier gases and uh, fuel sources there. Maybe with luck. Double checking our salvage kit should be able to get just about anything running with this. Good. There's at least something interesting. So that actually sounds good. There's another ship and it's orbiting over there. So let's travel there and see what's going on. And yeah, I know fuel warning, but what the hell am I gonna do? I don't have any more gases even at the moment. So I gotta get something from somewhere. Already doomed. There is a ship here though we can also go on and meet with. And what's this? That seems to be a very much a habitable planet. Conversation. New alien ship. What are you? Are you from the same alien species or something else? Hail. Calling. You are from the same. Fulfa Squire. Full Fox. Hello. Alien ship. You seek an audience. Shield zones. Weapons off. Uh, do you have any work for me? I suppose my lord might. No, I could not ask. I'm sorry. You are also like a full sus choir. Talk. Full fox. Tell me about yourself. We, full fox knights, protect this galaxy in the name of the lost king. His soul burns in every shot we fire. His mark is every scar in every ship. Walking his path, we bring light into the darkness. So, do you know about the Metalea Dracunculus? Apologies, I do not think I can help with that. Do you know about the Keystone? How much longer is this banter likely to take? We have great business elsewhere. Uh, do you know about humans? 
Without seeking to insult, we must move on. Adventures await, and it is no doubt await you as well. Farewell. Fine. Fine, then. Oh, that button. Press the wrong button. <laughs> okay, well. Let's try to get into maybe that planet and see if we can actually get something good for ourselves. Fuel warning, you don't say. Maybe we can buy something here. Take an hour to go, Eva. Just float around for a while. Enjoy the infinity. Maybe this will be good. It just jumped away. Okay, let's see if this... They seem to be leaving from here. Uh, mission forecast high risk liquid. Surface type liquid gravity high. That's okay. We can get some... Helium from here, yeah. Common helium, good. We need it. We have to go and land. Where is this elsewhere that you are all going? I don't know. That's a great question too. Where is this thing that you're all going into? I wouldn't have any idea whatsoever. And now pilot detector is damaged. Like, I just feel that, oh god, so too high of a speed. Uh, Simon Kessel, severe injury, broken leg. Well, that's good. That's just freaking great. I pressed the wrong button. Before. Is this thing also broken? Because that's kind of... It wasn't what I tried to do. I have no freaking idea. I just... Well, just a broken leg, right? It's not that bad. Not that bad at all. This is a freaking difficult to sometimes get into position to try to get this stuff. But we need helium so badly right now. We can need any cases really badly. So yeah. Well, broken leg, it's all good, right? Yeah, I don't think this place is even giving me more. Sometimes it just randomly now goes no not gonna work. Uh, hold us to fire reverse thrusters. That's great. How am I supposed to get out of here now? I'm stuck. <laughs> I'm absolutely stuck right now. Okay. If we just do that thruster and uh, then do also the forward thrusters. I don't see how I'm able to get out of here anymore. Um, hmm. How do I go back in time exactly? Uh, <laughs> this just seems so impossible for me to get out of right now. Okay. Can I... Uh... You will lose any progress made since landing on this planet, but I don't see how I can do this. We are doomed. We are pretty much doomed now. Well, elsewhere... Yeah, the mothership is probably called elsewhere, eh? Whoopsie. Uh, we are doomed. Can someone go and push? That's a good question. Um, I think I have to do that because I don't really see how I could do this right now. Like, in any way, if you get into that sort of a spot. Like, the other ship maybe could get out of here, but I don't see how this can. So, let's try to do this, I guess. I just have to do that again. Uh, <laughs> that's like the worst possible situation one could get into, truly. The worst possible. Okay, well, at least there's one good thing. He hasn't broken his leg yet. So, that's something, I guess. <laughs> okay. Now, not get... Not not go and get stuck, please. But that would be a silly ending. Get be... Completely be stuck there forever and ever and ever. Helium, 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 helium. I think that shows how much resource there is of this anymore in there left when it's on the red like that. But I'm not sure if we can get a little bit more. Yeah, we can get a little bit more at least. Even if not a lot. 
But that's a, like a death trap put in there for sure. Well, no broken leg for us then, I guess. Let's see if we can get the full cargo bay full or not. If not, then not, but it would be nice. It's just like hovering over here. Then suddenly this just said, nope, not gonna work anymore. Like there's been that injuries into this ship and that's one of them I think that it just sometimes randomly does that. Which can be a very bad situation in this place at least considering the situation that there's this freaking death trap near us. I think we need to leave. Fine, fuel warning anyway, so we would be very low on the fuel. Uh, well, doomed I say, we were, were extremely doomed. Oh, well, at least we got some helium now, so I guess that's okay. We run dangerous low on fuel, a mining trip would seem to be in order. Yes, that's why we were here, no. That's why we exactly were here, just for that purpose. Before getting stuck, that is. Um, and we use all of that, we get hardly anywhere. Well, a little bit forward with that, but not quite as far as we might have liked. We can feel that a little bit more. Then we have more to refill EM for the future, but we basically lack all other resources, which is good. This rigging dead trap near us, equivalent to a slight sinkhole in a dirt trap. <laughs> yeah, dead trap. That's what it is, though. <laughs> okay, well, I think I got pretty much everything that there was over here. I guess, no communications with that fellow, for the moment, that is. Let's see. Maybe there's any good resources anywhere in the other planets over here. It's just when it's such a smaller planet, it's so much more closer the area where we need to be to start to get into the, well, the atmosphere anyways. Uh, very low gravity, temperature temperate, it's actually a harmless forecast, so that's nice. We could go and get some copper from there, I think that's actually not a bad idea. Okay, let's go get some copper. It's not fuel that we need the more, but copper ain't gonna be bad either, so let's go get some. Okay, just one little location for... <laughs> it's like it accidentally, I pressed it already to come back on top but there was so little gravity that it didn't actually launch us all the way down so quickly so that was kind of the funny thing but oh well this will be a never-ending quest for fuel i'm sure well not necessarily as never-ending in the end we'll see though at the moment it is for sure because we are just so low but uh we'll see when we actually get into star, um, star station or something. But so low gravity that we're like dropping really slowly down. So very, very slowly. We can just like, I don't need to press anything. We just float down slowly but surely. Let's get a little bit more actual like direction. We're almost just floating in place. Almost, not quite, but so low gravity. Very low gravity indeed, you don't say. I guess I actually need to be using that to just get into the crowd. Like this, reverse thrusters. Uh, <laughs> I, it, it's even just like, almost trying to get me into this. Okay, now we're in place. I'm just keeping this <laughs> also thrusters on so that we certainly will stay on place. Because otherwise it's gonna be silly. Let's drop that for a moment, the trail, just to make sure that we can get some better soon. Okay, just continue with some trailing, try to get some more resources. Sometimes it's just hard to tell how much more you can get from the location before it would be running down, running low. I do run low onto the fuel, so I gotta be leaving quite soon. Yeah, we got some copper it's decent amount so it's at least decent 
decent amount. At least we don't need to be getting all resources, like, don't need to be actually wearing their food or some sus. There could be so many more things that they could have added that, eh, you gotta worry about this and this and this and this and this and so on and forth. Don't know how to fix those certain things, though. Uh, we can fix at least a little bit of this. This doesn't repair a lot, though, which is kind of unfortunate. We pretty much are using everything to repair this. Well, fine. Fine, I guess. Yeah, yeah, it's good that it's your responsibility. Let's head on. Into this direction, then. Let's see if we can communicate with this, too. Maybe, just for a short bit. There's a lot of these choirs. Communicate. Hello, alien ship. You seek an audience. Gossip. No, no, I must not. I would get into trouble for speaking out of turn. What about the Lost King? What is the Lost King? Did we hear about that? I guess we did. The Lost King was our greatest leader. He wielded the skite, camouflage, and fought the knight and surf alike. When he grew too old, he and his most trusted knights set forward on their final quest. To fight the dragons of, en of entropy, none know if he succeeded. What about the humans? You have a long, hard bad ahead. The eyes of the galaxy are upon you. Okay. Well, I don't think that there's much that I can really ask. How much longer, yes. Well, fine. Hang up. Goodbye. Speak well of me to my lord, please. Maybe. Just maybe. Just maybe. I'm just looking forward to getting into a space station. I think that will be excellent. And I don't just know where to go to get to that space station. Well, we know that one star system, so to speak, but I don't know where that star system exactly is, which is the problem. The main issue here. I don't know where it is. Surprisingly unoptimized guns. I suspect we put this down to their combat focus being deals rather than farther. Possibly. So, this looks also like a hot planet. Yeah, high risk. Gravity is high. Very high. But actually, it's not that hot. I think we need to go and risk this because there's gases. And we need we need more. So, I also go here. You can see how the gas planets work. They were very much different. Like it was said that there's the different winds in all the different ones, spots and so on and forth, and it can be a little bit of a problem, I would say, this one. For sure, but we'll see. I'll see how this will be going. Like that here in this level, apparently there's hardly any wind. When the higher level there certainly was. It's just a question, how do I find this freaking peak? Heliums. This is definitely like when the gas is just floating around here. It's a little bit difficult. Oh. Trying to get into here to find these heliums. There's some helium. Yay. Good. I got some helium. Then just need more. It's just like some points huge gravity and some points no gravity at all. Ah, helium escapes me. <laughs> It's kind of interesting, though, how these are very different type of planets, after all. No, it escaped me again. Ah, good. Got at least some of that. Injection also clocked. That's not good. Some more helium, though. I think I will just wait here until more helium comes by. <laughs> to be honest, because it seemed to be working for now. I do think that now I probably need to start getting up. And our armor is going down here, though, all the time, because we are so in such a high gravity, so there is that problem. At least got some more heliums, though. That's good. Where is this resource that I'm supposedly seeing? It's also down there, actually. Well, you're just going to go and up and see if there's anything else I can do until we leave. It's so actually impossible. It feels impossible to get to this higher level. Okay, now I got into here finally. Took a while. 
for sure. It's definitely not a good idea to be too far down there later on though, because otherwise we're probably never gonna get up from here. I, mean, I have to use all of my power to even try to get up on this level on the other hand again. So yeah. Definitely better not try to go too far down there. Especially when the fuel is going down. I'm seeing if I can wait for a little bit more helium here. I'm not ready to go any more down. I probably should just leave because we are low on fuel. Yeah, I gotta go. Unfortunate but true. I might be able to come and get some more later or on another time. But right now I gotta just leave so that we can even leave. Otherwise we're running out of fuel. And yes, very dramatic music. Let's see how much the helium will at least give us fuel. At least it should help us a little bit. At least a little bit. At least we got some helium. It's not so low a oh, I guess it's decent. But uh, I do need to go and uh, see about... Then also fixing... Well, no, that was for the... Yeah, we would need again more minerals to do this. At the moment, for, I, I think this will probably be easier in the future. He cannot completely fix the ship. She took too much damage being tracked here by the sphere. Hey, some unknown vessel? Question mark. Or are you one of those again that we saw before? Um, a little bit different looking communication. As for call, what is this? Transcom communication established new race added to the database. Elitsa Slaver. <laughs> what is this beautiful vessel before us? A carpet skull. Do you want a carpet of fleshly strangers? We are the Elitsa. Speak what we decide you would sound better at the bottom of the cobalt mine. Uh, tell me about yourself. We trade in unfunded lives. The most of our kind use drugs for many our service. And there are certain uh, desires that call for our variety capable flesh. For more variety capable flesh. What is your home? How many of you are there? We wonder if this uh, primitive vessel is the edge of your technology. There could be opportunities. Opportunities, you say. Great. Do you know about the Lost King? Yes, yes, the Fulvans do love the tales of the Lost King. He was said to have visited one of our world's ones on a quest to slay a great evil. We believe our ancestors teamed up with the evil to cast his, uh, me his meddling bones of world. How legendary evil may be cruel and destructive, but they remain ours. Meddling outsiders and two gooders can mind their own business. So, uh, what do you do for your work and all? At this, you lost our respect. We now consider you bipedal irritations. Okay, we talk too much. This infernal prattling still continues, having not shown more than rules of politeness demands. I'm sorry. Eh. Uh. Brace. Elitza. Silence any longer and we run the risk of actually remember this agonizing conversation. Ah, sounds friendly. Sounds friendly and look nice too. Well, that's uh, that's great. I'm so happy about this situation. Okay, so maybe we should just leave from here. I guess we got enough that we really, really need. I just I want to go and fix our ship and get some more parts and everything, like was said that our ship isn't really made for this. So, new friends, almost. Yeah, totally. New friends. Gate to Vale Nebula. Is that the place where their Deep says Hardware Emporium? Ooh. That at least would have something too. But is that the way we should be going? Oh, I already kind of chose this. Reaction control system broken. It's like everything breaks. 
I don't know what to do about the fact that we are just breaking everything. Do not question my command of the ship. Under Sol's deal with Iaza, it is my right and due to act as captain and CAO. Fine. Fine. There's a couple of new ships here that we can, I guess, converse with and all. I have worked for every major government on this century. Leave me to my work and you will not be sorry at the results. Yeah. Well, this looks like a toxic ballet, and it's just saying. Interception. What do they wish to say to us? Okay. Are you one of those slavers? I'm afraid. Yeah. Oh. Something new completely again. What the hell is this thing? EM tank. Fuel for one jump, good for one drive. Transcom communication established. Mitsurani friendship. Mitsurani create humans, have gift for humans. Mitsurani offer gift of friendship. Let Mitsurani befriend humans. Oh. You wanna give us an EM tank? Sure. I'm happy to take that. I don't know what sort of a weird plant you are on the sea, but thank you. Take? I wonder what you want in return. Mitsurani, best friends of human now. Yes, totally. That's how it works. Mitsurani friendship. <laughs> okay. Um. Tell about yourself. Mitsurani explore. Mitsurani seek home. Mitsurani grow. Mitsurani seek friends. That's interesting. Uh, wh where is your home? Mitsurani seek home to, for Mitsurani human help. Mitsurani find home. Do you have work for me then? Mitsurani need home. Find home for Mitsurani. Mitsurani is grateful. But what kind of home do you need? That's my question. What, what home? Do you know about this plant? Did you like this area? Mitsurani grow tired, Mitsurani find talking difficult. Aww. Well, I guess. Goodbye then. I don't know how to. Mitsurani, please, you're coming on a bit strong. <laughs> uh, well, goodbye. Mitsurani, depart. They're fell humans. I don't know where or which sort of a home you want. That's my issue, really. Well. Goodbye for now, I guess. Ah! No! Don't! Don't go into that planet. <sighs> I wanna co communicate to this other ship too, but it's kind of difficult when... <sighs> when we're going into sun. It's just one out of here, like right now. Otherwise, we're dead. My brain. Good. It's not picky. We n none of us have time to waste. The world will not wait for us. <sighs> okay, if Mr. Only Friendship is there, I don't know what the other ship was. For sure, but uh, let's just try to get there. Gosh, did you just pour a plan? I'm not sure how one should take that. <laughs> I don't know either. I don't know. Sniff, sniff. Fuel warning. But where can I go to get more fuel? Can I initiate conversations with you guys? Not immediately at least. Ugh. I need to see if I can get into this planet's atmosphere area or something. Okay, maybe. Maybe I can do this. Maybe. Phew, barely. Mission forecast deadly. Great. Thunder hole. Tropical violence. Some earthquakes. Great. How do I find you a new home? Let's just, let's just freaking go if we can, that is. 
Wanna go into that direction, there's some planet over there. We are really low on fuel. What are we gonna do if we run out of fuel? I don't know. What can we do? I would eat and eat slaves. No efficiency, no. The pleasure of domination alone, perhaps? I don't know. Do you have fuel for me, Miss Rani friendship? Friend Miss Rani. Just casually go to a star. <laughs> yeah, I went through, straight through the sun. Calling. Miss Rani, great friend. Miss Rani, join on journey to new lands. Join? Can you can you join? Miss Rani. Miss Rani must sleep. Call ended. Fine. Ugh. I guess I gotta jump into a new location if I can't find fuel here. My really issue is that I... Aww. I'm sorry, Eliana. May God grant me the chance to be there for your next birthday. There's a problem that I'm really, like, f low on that fuel. I can travel like this, but... There's the freaking bit. It's still too far, even though I go into here. It's too far. Why did it have to be that far? I got gash. Uh, initiate encounter. You have children too, Mr. Castilla. How do you endure being so far away from there? They both have children. Aww. Poor, poor engineer has to be so far. Uh, initiate conversation. Whoever you are. Ah, oh, one more of you. You show me dishonor in your approach, humans. Do I not demonstrate due respect? Well, you lost our respect. We now consider you safe. Well, freaking great. Well, how should I then be doing it? Praise. Full flags. If you are being of honor, you are friends to the full first night. Do you do you want to tell about Misurani? Have they helped you? Be very. That is hell with a price. If you are infected by the spores, do not let them linger and boil. Sterilize while you can. Oh dear. Well, thank you for the information. What about the Elitsa? <laughs> Even locals serve a purpose. That does not mean we should be happy to live alongside with them. Okay, I'll hang up before you get mad at me again. Fear to you well. <laughs> Fear to you well, fear to you well. Anyways, yeah, great. I'm so worried about our fuel situations and pretty much everything. And yeah, it was very much casual all going through the store. Hey, there's. Okay, someone came to want to chat with us. I'm kind of worried about that. Okay, who are you now then? It's too many of you. As for call, fine. Hell, uh, Razor Zero. Hello, you. What ship is this? Is it fast? Is it really fast? I am faster. I am the fastest in the class, and I will prove it to you, everyone. What's that? You think you're fast? I see it in your eyes. You think you're fast, but you're not. I will show you. I will show everyone. Do you dare compete? I dare you to compete. Challenge me. I will be fast, as fast as of all. I don't have gas for any raising now. I'm sorry to say. I got no gas to do any raising. No gas. Oh, mystery friendship too. I think I would like to go that way. Oh, no, actually, I just, I just, I need to go out of here. In all honesty, I just need to go out of here. So that we could try to maybe find some gas somewhere to get fuel. Can I please travel here? I can't. Is there fuel here? Minerals, iron. <sighs> Let's go into here. Hopefully after that I can just go into it quickly and try to actually communicate or something. And just immediately trying to leave him. We cannot jump, no exit matter left. Well, I can I can fix that. That I can fix. <sighs> okay. I can fix that. I cannot fix this. 
I do not know how you ever spent so long aboard the IS-2. Fuel warning. I know. But uh, you are approaching the outer rim of the system. Dense meteorite presence makes this dangerous. Stay within the outmost celestial body's orbit. The quickest way to change direction is to learn to low speed by countering your current momentum and all that. But I just... I need to be able to just jump. Emergency audio pilot activated. Radiation. Ah. Okay, well... Interception by something. Ah, welcome back, Dayotai. <laughs> Still floating around in space, I see. Well, sleep for a while, <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's good. You didn't mess to see our friendships and all. Oh, another friend, I guess. Oh, no. No one. What? No, you were with him? Yes, you finally don't realize what I know. You're here to silence the truth. As for me, I see your real face. To all of the oppressor answer. Okay, uh, are we here to side? Are we with them or no? Eh, I'd say no. And oh, yeah. Well, I hope it was a good little nap, though. I guess we should be ending the stream soon, too, but... Uh, I just would want to be able to solve our cat situation, and I'm not sure if I'm able to. Which really makes me annoyed. Really does. I just would want to solve it, but I don't know if I can. Uh, so, tools of the oppressors. No, I'm not. No? But ah, but I'm no fool. No, for is that know exactly what a tool of the oppressor would answer. Yes, totally would. Ah, so you admit you are a tool of the oppressor. A pawn in the great game of... Wait, but if you said... And then... Uh, but if you... And in that case... Aha! Uh -huh. I know, I shall test you. Will you accept this pamphlet about the real truth behind our galaxy of lies? Uh, conspiracy theories and crazy notions. Yeah, sure. You accept? Then you cannot be the tool of the oppressors. Otherwise you do not... You accepted it? Then you must be... Alice. But wait! No. Yes, finally! It has been so long since I found kindred spirits out there. I, between you and me, I think the oppressors have been telling people I am just some kind of crank. Ha! <laughs> Let them spread their lies like blubber. Yes. Good that it was a nice nap. Well, no seems like an obvious choice. <laughs> Luckily, no one heard me snore. Yes, that is a good thing at least. Uh, so, uh, tell about yourself. I am all no one. No one, or so you call me, worry of the truth. Scores of the oppressors, fearless journalists, sometimes I repair water filtration systems. Do you have water water filtration systems at near preparing? No? Uh, uh, just thought you might. Yes, um, what's your home? Like, I'll know in. We have no time for this. They could be. They are watching right now, eyes watching our every movement, controlling our every word. So, can you tell about the super egg? We have no time for this. They could. Be, they are our every word. Well, I, I shall praise you, super egg. All knowing. I don't. Oh. You have more time to talk, it is so rare to find one who is not, in all likelihood, already in league with the oppressors, but the shadow draws close, we must be away before it arrives, unless of course, uh, you have any secrets that uh, the universe must know, ideally that will fit in 500 works books on uh, page 13. Um, well, I got the keys though. Oh... Yes, to have more time, it's so rare. Any secrets? I, I don't think I have any secrets. Gossip? Yeah. Yeah, maybe, maybe I'll have something for you in the some points. Maybe. Hang up for now then. Goodbye. Remain vigilant. Well, that was interesting. I'm just not sure I'm gonna be able to get anywhere. I'm not sure what's gonna happen exactly. Is it just game over when I run out of fuel? It's very much likely. I'm worried about that. I 
have tried to jump already before. Hmm. It is only time lost with those I love. Not knowing how much time is passing. I'm close to this gate, sector gate. Sorry. Was it that the place that I would want to go? I'd have to now then look at least. Alien transmission received. Get refueled, get repairs, and mend our injuries in the bit. I need to get there, but I'm not sure if I'm getting there early enough considering my fuel situation. So that's, I think, the sweet voice acting. Thank you. I don't know if this is gonna be good enough. So is that the place I should be getting in? Probably. I'll just let this go and change angle in, on its own. When out of jump fuel, you can uh, scoop EM from stars. Yeah. This is an emergency measure. The radiation will stress both ship and crew to their limit. Scooping EM is less dangerous than low radiation stars. Well, added to Kallax Med, they sound like places for trading. We might. <sighs> suffocation, suffocation. Great. Life support system is offline and everything. So that's great. And we got no resources. What, so what the hell are we supposed to do? Uh, no, it will it will not end like this. Moira, I'm so sorry. I wish I'd, I wish I'd you There, it's on fire. I can't fix this. I can, I can fix this. I'm not sure you can. Okay, use this immediately. Um. That should be enough for one jump. Oh, suddenly I don't feel well. Oh, uh, so infested. Oh yeah, because we used the thing. Now he's just invested. That's bad. Oh no, what were we supposed to do if we got that? Maybe I can use the first aid kit for her. Ten two. I'm sorry, I can't work like this. I think you have to be healed. I feel much better. Concussion healed, but you have still the infestation then. Ark. Oh. No. Maybe you can eat this. Maybe you should eat this. Wait, how long was I out? We're still looking for the fuel. We are looking for oxygen now. <laughs> we are looking for anything right now. Uh, and we're getting invested, so that's also great, isn't it? So... I don't... I don't think that will work. Major hull repair. Everything is scavenged, you need to harvest wrecks and ruins. <sighs> Just eat it. Well, there was that was an experience. I don't know if it did anything though. I don't I don't think it did anything. <sighs> I see. Now we get to the missing things force and fuel loss and everything at once. At once everything is ruined. I don't have I don't have fuel. If I only can't get there. Suffocation. I, I guess I can try to talk to them. I think I have to be able to get to that space station. I can still try to maneuver, but... Uh, hail. Great humans. Uh, what did you do to us with that that thing? What, what did you do to me? Work. It's grateful, yeah. Mm. Your spores is over here. I don't. I don't know about this. I. I don't. I don't want to talk right now. I. Ah, uh, farewell. Ah, uh, and fuel loss and everything is happening at once. Uh, continue. Just need to get the hell out of here. We need to be able to get to that space station or we're doomed. If we can get into space station quickly enough, maybe, maybe. But it's like, if, if I can somehow just get into the space station, maybe. Maybe we can do it. Moira, I'm so sorry, I wish, I wish you'd... There's a space station here, I'm sure. It seems to be our destination, it's just a question. Can we do it before they die to us? It's so close, but still so far away. No, 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 no. Not that high speed. Suffocation. 
I just just need to get into here. Just need to get into here. In memory on Alessandra Lacroix, the professor of I envy your dearly departed Alessandra kinship with this vessel. She spoke the language of the machines like few I encountered. <sighs> died. She died. Just, I just need to get to this freaking thing. Or we're gonna all die. Maybe this way we can survive. Maybe. I don't know. I hope so. Hail. Freaking A! Why did I get her to die? You know, forever, dude. Gate to Vail Nepula. Hail. Docking permission is granted to all sentinels to order. Thank you. Uh, how do we do this then? I don't know. Doc, how do I do this? Uh, okay. I guess I did it now. Oh, we were able to dock here. It's just that we can still save the rest of the crew, right? Rest in peace. I guess, maybe. They're suffocating, but they are able to talk. Docking complete. Welcome, serfs. Open the markets for our quests. Uh, market. Where? How do I... Services. Restock. Ship fuel. Done. 50. Like if we only got here earlier. If we only got here earlier. But we didn't. <sighs> sniff, sniff, sniff. Sniff, sniff, sniff. Uh, repairs. Lander full. Eh, don't need those. Merchant. Harmonic replacing salvage gets gate to well, Nepula. Uh, so yeah, we have these. We could buy with 89 uh, harmonic blending solid gift, or I guess we could sell those. I don't, I don't know if I wanna sell those really. I'm sorry. Shop more so. Okay, what do you guys have here? Adaptive gear, good for 80 percent of the known species. What does it do? Creative nine out suspended in goo. Okay. Covers the full body, non viper for advanced healing. Interesting. Activate to reveal interesting locations. Oh, I don't know even what to get anymore. Fragile humans very much so. She died so close to salvation. Yeah, that's so annoying. Ah. It's so annoying. She died so close. We could reload, I guess. I'm not sure if it would work, though. I think it would reload just into here, so. Because we already got into here. It's so annoying. I tried to get here in time, but I didn't. I don't know what to buy. There's so many options, and I don't know. Can you tell me about work? Oh, there's little enough to do here as it is. Press the button, open gate, wait for a ship. I crave adventure. One day. One day. <sighs> do you know about this pamphlet? Were any of this to be true, it would be a brave soul who took the first steps. Hmm. Is there any other <laughs> services we want? I, I probably the shop, but uh, what about the gate? Very well, prepare to transfer credits, so that we can use the gate, sure. Go to credits reset, go for the glorious adventure. I, I wanna know if I can shop something good. <sighs> Maybe, adaptive cure. I don't know what it exactly will cure, but maybe it's gonna be good. I guess this could also cure the concussions in sus. Reductions from small planet side creatures. Covers the full body, nano viper for advanced healing. I'm kind of interested in this, I guess I'll get it. I got enough money for now. I just didn't know where to find more of these freaking space stations. Or earlier space station. We would have needed to come here so much earlier. Uh, we have a long, hard, bad hit. Yeah, well, hang up then. I'm very saddened. 
Sad end. Sad end to have lost one of our crew member. May your adventures be glorious and wilt with honor. I don't. I'm so sad end. Alessandro is dead. Very much dead. Just nothing. They are not suffocating anymore at least. Trusters and guidance systems fully operational. Targeting systems are calibrated. Scanning local area, prepare for updates. And wasn't it even her, Alessandra, who was say saying that I'm sorry that I didn't get to your birthday? Like one of the her children. So it's like even greater. Greater thing. <sighs> this is smartly done. Hmm, active scanner. Activate and reveal interesting locations. Sure, use it. Activate. This is smartly done. It scans for certain molecules, components, German life forms, and objects. I think I've got something. Rare resource found. Asteroid field. Drifting shipwreck found. Star system. Bengala. Not quite Berkele, but something. And yeah. And why didn't you just put your Simon? I, d <laughs> I couldn't. I didn't know. Oh dear, different names, the same conspiracy theories. Whoever wrote this stuff should team up with Zoe. I've not seen any newspapers out here. <laughs> I do like conspiracy theories. One half truth can be worth much actual leverage. Who will read the pamphlet? Tell me, guys. Who will read the pamphlet for us? The conspiracy pamphlet? Does seem to be quite a bit of a conspiracy theory. Let's at least try to have something happy in the midst of this darkness that we... We got ourselves in with this whole situation of a death of a crew member. Who shall read the pamphlet? Salvage kit. I have nothing to add to this. Such sadness. I don't know. I don't know either. Let's do that at least and before and travel forward a little bit. I almost thinking like I want to start over completely again this game when <laughs> she died. But we'll go as far as we can. Maybe maybe that will be enough. Maybe that will not be enough. But we'll see. I'm kind of interested to know what he exactly would say. Guess the one who was excited about it. Well, yeah, then the as the, 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 the astronaut should, I guess. Well, I do like conspiracy theories. Well, especially he. I guess he is the most excited because he says, I do like conspiracy theories. Simon, please don't crazy with us. <laughs> uh, re Actually, he can't read it. It's just something that we have. Okay, fine. You could use this. To cure the um, that concussion, but uh, not otherwise. <sighs> so sad. Well, we paid for the gate, so let's go and travel with the gate. The race to Providence. This is quite of a gate, though. I do have to say that. Let's travel wherever we are exactly. Well, we aren't gonna arrive into the other location, but yes, we'll see how this will work. It's quite of a spin. Quite of a spin. This music doesn't help lighten mood. Yeah, that's the problem. It's just a sad music so long. Alloy smelter, I know it's corroded. More wear and tear. That's excellent. We are no longer your friends. Oh, Why you are no longer my friend? Why? Everything sucks. Okay, let's just travel into here and see who is this alien ship and... Uh, we will make it, we will survive. I'm not real sure about that considering one of us is already dead. That is what's uh, neat though. And now this. <laughs> <laughs> now, Miss Ronnie will not even be our friend. Give me stars instead of skies any days. At least you enjoy the journeys. So there's that, Commander Bro. So if you have quite finished daydreaming. Oh, why are you so not friendly and into more to me, Miss Ronnie, though? 
You've earned our friendship. Oh. Now again, I've earned it. I did it before. Why did I lose it? Mr. Rani, great friend. Mr. Rani, join on journey to new lands. But like... Why? What's going on? Tell me. Gossip. Something. Mr. Rani, friendly aliens. Not welcome, Mr. Rani. But Mr. Rani only want help. Uh, do you have any work? Mr. Rani, Tom. The white home for Mr. Rani. Mr. Rani is grateful. Talk about the Misurani. Swore Misurani invest is what Misurani is, but Misurani mean no harm. Misurani is friend. Misurani just need home for Misurani. And I guess that's what they do the infestation for. God damn, Misurani. <laughs> I don't understand this. They first... Nope. Then they... Yes, again. I think they would have... The one that had it... Uh, I don't know what would have happened if, if, if she would have had that infestation for longer <sighs> whatever I, I don't know about you Miss Ronnie's I, I have no idea gaining their dislike is very mysterious <laughs> yes <laughs> it is quite mysterious I gotta say I just goodbye I, I don't know what to think about you guys you have a strange looking sheep huge sheep but strange ah I, I, I wanna see if this planet will be anything useful for us possibly <sighs> it's kind of funny when it's saying there The long journey home, we will make it We will totally freaking make it I'm not so sure about that Though, myself, but Good Okay, we could get some minerals here Which I think is something we need Especially when this is a harmless planet So let's go and do that And uh, after that, I... We can probably be saving and ending for today, and uh, well, it's automatic like saving, but you know, anyways. Oh, there's also some place to explore over there. That's gonna be interesting. Ah, oh, why did I accidentally leave again? That's the stupidest thing that can happen when you accidentally leave. Creepy plants. I feel they're friendly just to try and breed. That's that's the thing. That's the thing. I I kind of feel the same considering like their home is inside us. I think. Like, I, I don't think they can need a home planet. So is there a circle blown? Why? Well, well, let's go into that place to investigate it first when it's something interesting. Ooh, this seems like a big spacecraft or something. But that seems like an interesting thing. For sure. There is quite a bit of a... Quite a bit of like a wind. Visit, definitely. Found the crash ship. From the orbital view, it's the epicenter of this planet's infection. The metal is melted and twisted from the impact. The moon under my feet has the texture of writing worms. And then they abandoned us in the saddest moment, yeah. So it is, explore. Just about everything he has been consumed by rotten fungus. Wait, I think I found something that might be worth cleaning up and salvaging. A uh, lantern repair kit? Totally, definitely. Gladly heading back to the lander. Yay! Oh. I don't wanna be going that way. I'll just get some of that mineral then so we can actually repair ourselves with minerals too sometimes. This does seem to be a slightly toxic planet, though. Slightly. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Into this way I need to go. There we go. Okay, good. Ah. Transmission clan slipping. Of course it is slipping. Uh, Simon Castillo is now infested. Freaking great. How Simon got infested from this planet? It's those freaking, freaking things. Well, you we'll see what will happen to Simon now, I guess. <laughs> the other woman escaped it, but... Uh... Yeah.
There's sometimes like too much wind and then it starts to be blowing us uh, even though like downward slide even though I don't press any buttons. Okay. Let's try to continue like this now then a little bit. Full warning. Yeah, I know. Just trying to get a little bit more. Okay. I think that's enough. I can't really get myself here. It better not go and die on us. Well, Simon is <laughs> pregnant. <laughs> yeah, pretty much it seems like it. I think this will be all... Well, I, we did already say before that we're all doomed. So, yeah. Resources. <sighs> uh, so this is... Ah, this is actually for refill EM. Not that we didn't need it. We definitely need this stuff too, but... Uh, we would also need some metals to actually repair ourselves, but I guess we should now actually use the... From the laboratory, this minor lander repair when we just got it. I can bang a few paddles into place, I suppose. <laughs> Without the lander, we have nothing. I can batch things up until we find a better way, sure. I repaired some of the damage to our lander. Lander's whole integrity is now 43%. Not feeling very good, though. I was thinking that you're probably gonna get infested too when I use this. It actually, it even has those tentacles there? Ah, should have looked into that. Went to gather resources and came back pregnant. Yes. And now she also got it. Everyone who uses that sort of a thing. I should have just let him go and do it. Ah. Uh, you're doing very badly now. Well, not as badly as her, but uh, pretty badly. Great, more infestations. Yeah, and I don't know what it will do. I think I think she needs to drink this. Good for 80% of the known species. What do you say? Adaptive cure. Jeez. Yeah, I'll, I need something to get by. I'll give it to you. I feel much better. My grain healed. Freaking great. You're still infested though. We're all infested. <sighs> We're all gonna be dead. <laughs> uh, oh god. I don't know. I don't know about this. Commander Barasa, under the circumstances, might I successfully go and find your activities to light on board duties? <sighs> Forget it. I didn't come up to lie in bed and be a burden. Okay, well. <laughs> doomed. Ah, uh, yes, absolutely. I think this will be where we'll be ending today. Your game will be saved. Yeah. Great. <sighs> okay. Well, that was something. It, it's uh, kind of interesting, definitely. Definitely not easy to survive, I'd say. So I guess we shall be continuing with some more of this. I'm just not... Uh, probably some other crew next time if we die with all of this trip, but we'll see. We'll see. At least I'll know better next time. 2% uh, of the problem solved. 15% of the ship time is encountered. Zero relics found. 2% star ports uh, and cities visited. Oh, this is a big place. Seems promising. It seems interesting. There is some stuff that I can understand that it's definitely not a game for everyone, but uh, I found it interesting nonetheless. And definitely not easy to survive. So, there is that aspect. But uh, I shall be ending the recording at least here, so thank you all in YouTube then later on too if you wanted to watch this and uh, hear all on Twitch. And uh, yeah, we shall, I guess, continue this next Friday then after Morrowind. So, we shall see you guys then. With that, bye bye.